Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech. And previously I did the shunt resistor mod practicing on a 760 because I haven't done it in a while. Uh, even though I've been hardware modding for quite a few years, I just kind of stopped really. There was no need for it with the 3000 series GPU. So um, I practiced on the 760 and I just want to recap. In that previous video, I go over a few tips that you should do uh, to help prepare yourself, especially if you never ever soldered in your life, you know, practice on an old card, yada yada yada. Check out that video, I have it linked down below. But here we got the A2000. We don't have to take the heat sink off. We do got to take the GPU shroud off, but we don't have to take the heat sink off. It's only a few screws one, two, three, four, five, six, and of course the IO shield. And you can get to the shunt resistor no problem without having to remove the heat sink, especially since I already have it copper shimmed from Cool My GPU. I just wanted to go ahead and get the job done. So uh, just to recap, heat is a big problem with these GPUs, especially modern GPUs. Use a heat gun or a heating uh, plate to try to warm up the PCB, get it up to temp. Use your temperature uh, or thermal reading. Make sure the PCB is good and up to temp. Right now it's more it's still warm, but it's not as hot as it needs to be. Uh, usually I try to shoot for 100, maybe uh, 110, somewhere in there, uh, 125C, depending on the component once again, or the SMD that I'm working on. And then this is a little bit high. I really need to have it around 550. I only turned it up because I was having some issues, uh, but anywhere from 450 to 550 should be a good number for you to use on your solder. Make sure your tip is clean, of course, right? So dip it, use your, your brass to kind of clean the tip off a little bit, it's still warm. Uh, and then you can solder your component and it should, if you got the PCB up to temp and you use a little bit of flux, solder just fine. Now, if we look very carefully, it is a little bit brown. That's the flux in there, kind of warping a couple of things, right? The zero is a little bit off. I think I stabbed it with the solder, uh, soldering iron. Uh, but the flux kind of flows into those traces or the area where we want to be. Uh, not the cleanest thing. You can see that the soldering iron got really hot and I kind of grazed the controller right here to the right, but I was able to get a good connection on there uh, front and back. So make sure your, uh, you know, you follow the steps in the tips video. Um, I go over four tips or at least three tips and four why I believe you should be trying to do this on your own instead of paying for it, but I'll leave that up to you. Uh, but it, you know, this is not something everybody wants to do, which is why there's an opportunity there for, for people to get paid to solder because they're very good at it, uh, at soldering components, especially fixing GPUs. Because remember, these little caps around the resistor, I've seen people solder to them, like this one right above here, that one right there. They accidentally, you know, drag some solder, it makes connection, and then next thing you know, that GPU is no longer good. So just be careful. Try it on an old GPU or uh, the, the Bauer ruler and see if you can't get that working before you go practicing or doing it on the actual GPU. So I'm gonna get this put back together, get it back into the rig and then kind of go from there. Uh, but I just wanted to show you what that looks like. You should really, if you wanna see it, like somebody soldering in real time while they're actually doing the shunt mod, check out Miner On Demand. I believe there's another uh, German uh, modder who actually did it as well. And he did a really good job because he actually fixed some of the components that some people often mess up, especially that, that little brown cat right there and that one. Uh, but this one should still be alive. If it's not, I'll just get a new one. Um, but I'm pretty sure it being a little bit burnt here on this controller is not gonna be what kills it. What kills it is if I actually bridged some connections together and I did not do that. But that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to uh, give you an update. I didn't record while I was soldering. It was actually really quick, you know, come out here, get some heat on it, or take it apart, get some heat on it, get the solder, uh, soldering iron up to temp, hit it with some uh, solder itself, go ahead, throw some flux on it, boom, and I was pretty much done in a matter of seconds. So uh, you really need to be looking at what a professional does. If your hands are shaking very much, try to leverage it. Like for example, if you're trying to hold the tweezers like this up in the air, your hands are gonna shake. 
go ahead and try to get it on a, on a set foundation. Maybe put a couple books below your wrist so that way you can hold one side, solder, and then rotate the card. Try to be careful, especially if you're getting it up to temp and it's hot, the heat sink will burn you. Get it up to temp, try the other side, again, using some books or some leverage or a flat surface to where you can hold it. Like you can point the card like this and hold it from the side and then hit it with the soldering on on the other side and that should help you out because if you're trying to sit there, work with these small SMDs, resistors, components, and your, your hands up in the air, you're gonna shake horribly and it's gonna make it much worse. So hopefully you got it done. And uh, if you're gonna challenge yourself, make sure you check out the tips video uh, that I'll have linked down in the description that I talked about. Hey, real quick before I let you guys go, I just wanted to show you, obviously thermals are getting hot as the tent's getting up to temp. Uh, but uh, if your A2000 is actually showing more hash rate than it did uh, originally, uh, but at the same clock, same everything, that means your shunt mod should be successful. I'm running at 970 core, about 3600 mem. I haven't tweaked anything yet. You sh should still be at the same power draw. And so if you go and tune the memory, you should be able to hit that close to 50 mega hash now. Uh, just obviously being, bear in mind thermal constraints and stuff like that since I'm in a hot area in Florida in a tent. But since we're able to get an extra 2 mega hash off rip without changing anything, that lets us know our shunt mod was successful. And you all have yourself a wonderful day. Please do me a favor on the way out. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. I'll catch you guys on the next one. And take care. i got to clean this flux up. Let me go hit that with some rubbing alcohol and a brush. See you on the next one.